So this uh, G13 tune, again, there's a really cool place to play a, like an A minor shape, almost like a C major seven. Except when you come down and touch this note uh, in the eighth fret, uh, you're actually have an inverted chord off this one for the G. So it's a bona fide G13 chord. It's kind of cool. Now this this uh, E diminished chord again is really when you have a one here that becomes a three, and then of course that's a seven. Uh, here's a two, and there's a five. So it's a it's a a C nine chord, no root. So that diminished chord is really handy that way, and because the song is in the key of G, you get a G13 and then a C7 chord that's really close. So the song starts out with this one, quick four, then one, G sharp 13, G13 down on the third fret. Then you can go right to the C9 for your second two bars of four. Then the one, walk up to the D13 for the five. Now for the one chord, instead of going back to the G13, I'm just doing a little riff in G. It's almost like E flat, but G and E flat are relative minor, so. putting my middle finger on the third string up in the fourth fret and my index finger on the second string up in the third fret putting my ring down kind of like a blues move then I'm hitting that uh, the one of G and since that takes the place of the one now all we've got to do is get uh, a, a D7 chord for our finish, which is the five, and I'm using a C shaped, a, a C7 chord. We basically, do a C7 down here, old school. So the tune goes. <laughs> <laughs> 